everyone welcome back to my channel it's me Rula I hope everyone is doing well um, before I get into my video I just want to say thank you to all my new uh, subscribers and thank you to all my returning subscribers I finally reached over 300 subscribers um, and I'm thinking of doing a giveaway sometime in the future uh, as a thank you to everyone. Um, I don't know what my giveaway will be. Um, it could be either paper crafting related, it could be Bath and Body Works, or it could be a mixture of both. Uh, so um, I'm not sure, but stay tuned for that. Um, so for this video, I decided to do something a little bit different. Um, and this video was inspired by other Bath & Body Works uh, YouTubers out there. Um, I've seen some uh, YouTubers pull, pull out um, some of their fine fragrance mists uh, in their, within their collection um, that would, um, I guess, would be some of their picks for Valentine's Day. Um, now, Valentine's Day is coming up this week, uh, which is Wednesday, uh, February the 14th. Uh, so I decided to do the same, um, and this is my uh, take. It, there's no order whatsoever, um, but uh, yeah, I decided to pull out some fragrance, fine fragrance mists within my collection, and um, a few uh, honorary uh, mentions as well. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to get started. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm not a huge fan of Valentine's Day, <laughs> um, only because, uh, I've had some tragedies happen with me in the past uh, on Valentine's Day. Uh, so I kind of, um, have, I guess no pun intended, uh, love-hate relationship with Valentine's Day. Um, so yeah, my husband and I don't really celebrate it because of that reason. And um, only because, I don't know, I always feel a little, a little sad during this time of year. Um, so, but I am getting better with that as years go on. Um, yeah, so I and I do absolutely enjoy paper crafting uh, for Valentine's Day. Um, I know um, some people love Valentine's Day. It's just not my thing um, because of personal reasons. And uh, but uh, yeah, like I said, as time gets on, I'm I'm kind of accepting accepting it if that makes any sense. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to get started. And again, um, this is in no particular order, but this is my, um, take on what fine fragrance mists I had picked out from my own collection. Um, and, uh, so yeah, uh, the first one is an obvious choice. Uh, this is Gingham Love. Um, Unfortunately, Gingham Love has been um, discontinued um, last summer of uh, 2023, um, and I was lucky enough to pick up a two backs of backups of uh, Gingham Love. Uh, again, scent notes of Gingham Love are um, sugared red berries, blushing freesia, rose meringue. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love. Gingham Love, um, and uh, the next one is Gingham Gorgeous. So spring of 2013, Bath and Body Works had released some flankers of the Gingham of um, Gingham of their original Gingham, and uh, Gingham Gorgeous was the flagship, um, and then there was Gingham Fresh and Gingham Vibrant. Uh, on um, I would say out of the three, um, Gingham Gorgeous is actually my third favorite out of the three that they had released. 
Um, and as I mentioned in previous videos, I am a Canadian, so therefore I shop at the Canadian Bath & Body Works stores. Um, and here in Canada, uh, because this is a faceted bottle, there are no scent notes. Um, yeah, normally here in Canada, there are no scent notes on the back um, when the bottles are faceted. I know in the U.S. there are um, scent notes on the back, but I can tell you Gingham Gorgeous is a um, fresh, um, fruity, floral uh, fragrance. Um, this does have strawberry in it, uh, but it's a fresh strawberry. Um, but uh, yes, uh, like I said, unfortunately, I don't have the fine fragrance notes on me and I did not write them down, but this is what I describe Gingham Gorgeous as. Um, I only have one of these uh, in my collection. Um, you can still find Gingham Gorgeous in stores for the time being. Uh, so if you guys want to check out Gingham Gorgeous, you, like I said, you can find it right now in stores and online. So yeah, I do like Gingham Gorgeous. It's just that it's not my favorite out of the flankers. So, but uh, yes, Gingham Gorgeous, uh, I would definitely wear on Valentine's Day. Um, the next one is one of my OGs. I absolutely love the scent. This brings back me brings me back a lot of memories, guys. This is Sweet Pea. So uh, this is an older packaging of Sweet Pea. Um, Sweet Pea. The scent notes are Sweet Pea, watery pear, uh, sheer freesia, luscious raspberry, soft musk. Um, so yes, yeah, Sweet Pea. You can find this uh, in store. Uh, this is part of their signature line, so you can find this all year round. And I believe Sweet Pea has a different packaging now. That, and uh, so, but uh, that's Sweet Pea. Next, um, this was part of their Pride collection uh, last year in 2023. This is Love Always Wins. Uh, set notes are um, Golden Star Fruit, Fresh Coconut Water, Cedarwood Heart. Um, I do love, 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 <laughs> love always wins. Um, this agrees really well with my uh, body chemistry. Um, so yeah, I, I, I'm interested what Bath & Body Works will release for this year for Pride, um, Pride Month. But uh, yeah, so that's love always wins. Uh, next, uh, this is the new one uh, that ha that was just released for spring. Uh, I've discussed this one before in, 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 in a previous video. This is Sweetheart Cherry. Um, scent notes are, again, Wild Cherry, Crushed Pistachio, Whipped Vanilla. Um, like I mentioned in a previous video, I do like Sweetheart Cherry. However, the longevity with the cherry um, note is not the greatest. Uh, this does last slightly longer uh, if you spray this on your clothing as opposed to directly to your skin. Um, however, uh, just, just be cautious of what you're wearing if you're going to spray this on your clothing because this is a this has a red liquid uh, if you're wearing anything light like or if you're wearing white clothing i would not recommend wearing sweetheart cherry um, because it may stain your clothes but uh, yeah so that's sweetheart cherry uh the next one um is dark kiss uh, I mentioned this in a previous video. Um, my love for Dark Kiss. And this is the older packaging I have in my collection. Uh, Dark Kiss, the scent notes are Black Raspberry, Burgundy Rose, Bergamot Incense, Dark Vanilla Bean, Plum Musk. So this is a, your deeper, deep, sexy um, fragrance. It's just, yeah, it's... it's yeah, I absolutely love Dark Kiss. Um, so if you're like me, uh, who loves the the gothic aesthetic, this may be a little bit up your alley. Uh, I know Dark Kiss was not um, promoted uh, when this was released for as a Halloween fragrance, but like I said, I can totally see this being repackaged 
for Halloween. And uh, yeah, I wish Bath and Body Works would, re re would repackage this for Halloween. So yeah, so that's a dark kiss. Uh, and as you can tell with this model, I had um, put on some uh, bat stickers on there. So, um, so yeah, that's a dark kiss. Uh, the next one, speaking of Halloween, and um, yeah, uh, this is Vampire Blood. So yeah, um, I'm getting into a little bit of uh, Halloween here. Uh, so yes, this is can totally be worn for um, for Valentine's Day. And uh, the scent notes are red berries, night blooming jasmine, petrifying plum. So this is your fruity fragrance. Um, and you can actually wear this all year round, guys, and not just for Halloween. So um, so that's Vampire Blood. Um, and uh, the next one is, um, I, have the new, I have a newer packaging. Um, and this, this was released or re-released last year uh, during the summer. Um, this is Sunset Glow. Uh, Sunset Glow, um, the notes are fresh coconut, sparkling cherry seltzer, dreamy moonflower caramelized vanilla. So, um, I know a lot of people were, um, comparing Sweetheart Cherry with Sunset Glow. Um, uh, these two are not the same in my opinion. Uh, Sunset Glow to me, even though it has a cherry note in it, um, it's more in the perfumey spectrum. Um, and yeah, I, I actually love uh, Sunset Glow. Uh, like I said, <laughs> Sweetheart Cherry, I do like it. It's just not my favorite cherry fragrance Bath & Body Works has released. So, but I love Sunset Glow. Uh, next one is if um, we need some chocolate when it comes to, uh, um, when it comes to Valentine's Day, of course. So I picked out a Vanilla Mocha Martini. This was released back in 2022 or repackaged. This one used to uh, have a couple of names. Uh, this used to be called Vanilla Mocha Cafe, I believe, in the past. So yeah, that's what Bath and, Bo Bath and Body Works does. They often re uh, repackage fragrances and they just re rename them. So yeah, so that's Vanilla Mocha Martini. I wish I had picked up a backup of this one. I use this seldom uh, and I hope this does come back. Um, again, because this is, this is a faceted um, bottle there's no scent notes but yeah this is basically your your coffee caramel type of fragrance so um, and of course uh, coffee so yeah um, so that's vanilla mocha martini that's a good one um, <clears throat> next um, this is one of my favorites um, and I mentioned uh, this one before uh, this is into the night uh, scent notes for Into the Night are Raspberry Noir, Amber Crystals, Velvety Rose Petals, Creamy Patchouli Mocha Musk. So this is definitely your date night uh, fragrance. This one is very sexy and sultry. Um, yeah, I absolutely love Into the Night. Um, I wear that even during the day. So uh, it doesn't matter to me because I love it that much. Um, next one is uh, Fruity Sherbet Scoop. Um, this one, the scent notes are Rainbow Sherbet, uh, Zesty Orange, Sun-Kissed Strawberry. Um, so that's Fruity Sherbet Scoop. Um, next one uh, is Strawberry Snowflakes. This is the newer package that the, they had released uh, last year for 2023 during the Christmas season. Um, the set notes are Juicy Strawberry Whipped Cream Iced Bergamot. Um, <clears throat> this one is different from um, Strawberry Pound Cake, in my opinion. Um, this one is more on the candy, creamy um, spectrum and... and um, in comparison to strawberry pound cake, strawberry pound cake is more cakey, more bakery. 
uh, this one is not. Um, <clears throat> so, um, like I mentioned before, a lot of people do, I have seen people say uh, here on YouTube, if you have one, you don't need the other. And strawberry snowflakes and strawberry pound cake are, is another example. Like I said, these are totally different, in my opinion. Um, yeah, like I said, this is more candy-like, and uh, whereas strawberry pound cake is not. Th that one's more cakey, of course, um, more dessert-like. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love strawberry snowflakes. I hope this comes back again uh, this year for 2024, but we shall see. Uh, I have a feeling it may not come back, though, but hopefully that's not true. But anyways, we shall see. Um, <clears throat> this one's new. Uh, well, not really new. Uh, this one was released during the um, last year, actually. Um, it was part of their Y2K collection, which came with Lovely Dreamer, Forever Sunshine, um... Ooh, and I cucumber melon as well and this one is carried away um, at first I was not gonna purchase this one um, but I decided to purchase one uh, this one anyways um, this was released um, quite a few years ago and they brought it back uh, but carried away are the scent notes are lush raspberries juicy pear nectar white jasmine whipped vanilla um, <clears throat> So that's carried away. Uh, next um, is Black Cherry Merlot. Um, so this one is a repackage. Uh, this is the one I have in my collection. I've had uh, Black Cherry Merlot in the past. Um, I've had this in home fragrance as well. Uh, again, because this is a faceted bottle, there's no scent notes. Uh, and as I mentioned, uh, here in Canada, because this is a faceted bottle, there are no scent notes on the back. Um, <clears throat> but Black Cherry Merlot, I could tell you, it's very different from Sweetheart Cherry and Sunset Glow. Black, uh, Black Cherry Merlot has that boozy note to it. And I feel like Black Cherry Merlot, uh, the cherry note is deeper. And I know there, there is... Um, a, raspberry in this one as well like a dark raspberry um i feel like this one um uh, in the past was um had a better longevity in comparison to this version but it still lasts a little bit longer in comparison to sweetheart cherry um so i do recommend black cherry merlot if you want a really deep cherry um fragrance from bath and body works um, but, um, yeah, I absolutely love Black Cherry Merlot. Um, this one is not sold in stores at the moment. I'm not sure if you can find this online, um, in, on, on the U.S. website. Um, yeah, so this was released last year during the fall season. You may be able to find this, um, during the summer SES, maybe. I'm not sure, but, uh, this does come out every so often so um again this is a repackage of um but yeah i absolutely love black cherry merlot um i'm happy that uh, i have that back in my collection so <clears throat> that's 14 that i have uh, to show you guys and next are some honorary mentions that i have uh which you can wear for valentine's day um this one is luminous. Um, set notes are uh, ruby currant, gilded iris, praline amber. Um, I love the praline in this one. So that's luminous. Um, next is midnight amber glow. Uh, set notes are smooth amber, caramel, latte, vanilla, bourbon. That's Midnight Amber Glow. Again, a coffee caramel type of fragrance. Um, this one um, is Among the Clouds. Um, set notes are Wild Berry Skies and Whipped Vanilla Clouds. So that's uh, Among the Clouds. Uh, next, 
uh, is champagne toast. Uh, everybody knows what champagne toast um, smells like. Uh, it's got like a raspberry, again, Bath & Body Works does put a lot of raspberry uh, fragrances in, in their uh, fine fragrance, or in their fragrances, but, so yeah, that's champagne toast, but this is your bubbly raspberry type of fragrance. So that's champagne toast, again, this is the version I have uh, that's in the uh, faceted bottle. You can find champagne toast um, in store. It's available all year round. Um, next um, <clears throat> is uh, Pink Suede. Um, scent notes are um, Blush Berries, Velvet Peony, Soft Cotton. Um, so this was released during, during um, uh, I guess, around the Christmas season um, <clears throat> for 2023. Uh, this was released along with Ballet Nights and um, Satin Slippers, I believe, or Pink s Satin Slippers. Um, I only picked up Pink Suede and Ballet Nights. Pink Suede to me um, almost smells cinnamon-like, um, even though cinnamon is not listed. And to my nose, it, it smells like cinnamon. So, and I absolutely love Pink Suede. Um, this actually is a repackage. This was released back in 2022, I believe, as well, for the fall season. But I did not pick it up then. But I did pick it up um, this time around. And I'm happy to have that in my collection. Um, next, um, this is part of their 90s collection. This is Sun Ripened Raspberries. Uh, set notes are sun ripened raspberry strawberry leaves sugar crystals so that's sun ripened raspberries or raspberry uh next um this one is a unusual one uh this one is twisted peppermint yes twisted peppermint uh the reason why i picked uh twisted peppermint uh because um for people like me who live in a colder climate um twisted peppermint i feel um does fit in really well with uh, valentine's day um <clears throat> so um yeah i absolutely love twisted peppermint i love the um i guess the vanilla buttercream note in this one um, and it's also great for Headaches. Um, I have a. This is actually my backup. Uh, I actually have um, another twisted peppermint on my brick desk um, at all times uh, in case I don't feel well or if you know um, if I'm having a little bit of a headache. You know, I will put some on. Um, I would spray this onto my skin or onto my clothes a little bit. And I actually feel a little bit better. So, um, yeah, I love Twisted Peppermint. Um, so, yeah. Um, and, uh, so, and I have two more, actually three more to show you guys. Um, this one is You're the One. I do not have the full size, but I can tell you this one is a rose a fragrance. Uh, with a uh, touch of strawberry nectar. Uh, this one is your, this one's quite strong, guys. This one, um, you can find this in stores right now. Um, and um, yeah, I'm still playing around with this one. I'm still not sure about this one, but um, I do like it. It's just I can't wear a lot of it uh, because this is so strong. Um, this does give me a little bit of headache. So, um, but uh, this is a great date night one, and this is works really well during the winter season. So that's your the one. Uh, it's it's quite pretty, but it's just a little bit too strong for me. Um, and the next one, of course, is hot cocoa and cream. This is the version I have. Um, this is like the candle, or. Um, a little bit like the candle so um, I think hot cocoa and cream uh, in the fine fragrance mist this time around I think they could have done a 
better job. It smelt better in the past, but uh, I am happy to have hot cocoa and cream in, in my collection. And like I said um, previously, um, I, I live in a colder climate and even though spring is around the corner, um, during this time of year it's still a little bit cold. <laughs> We're still having some cold days. Um, there's not much snow on the ground, but, uh, yeah, um, here in Canada where I live, um, I would say January and February are, are the coldest months, although we had some warm days here and there, but, um, generally I find anywhere from January to maybe March, early April, it's, it's quite cold here still. Uh, where I live so um, <clears throat> and the last one I have uh, I only have this in a mini is strawberry pound cake yes so uh, everybody knows what strawberry pound cake smells like so um, so those are my picks guys for Valentine's Day um, <clears throat> so uh, there are, I could think of other fragrances um, that I actually do not have in my collection, which would be great for Valentine's Day. Uh, like, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, cherry, oh, what's it called? Uh, well, Everlasting Magic. Actually, I should have brought that out. I do have that one. That's a good one. That's a nice berry fragrance one. Uh, uh, chocolate. What's it called? Chocolate. Cherry chocolate. I forgot the name of it, guys. Oh my god. I can't remember the name of it. Oh my god. Uh, chocolate. Chocolate. Chocolate covered cherries. There you go. Chocolate covered cherries. That's. Um, that's the. That's the one I was thinking of. I don't. I no longer have that. That in my collection. Uh, unfortunately so but uh, so I can't show you guys that one um, yeah there's a couple other ones there that I would say are great for Valentine's Day but yeah those are my picks um, so thanks for watching guys if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to make a comment down below thanks for watching guys bye now